Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mario Lanzani and Ian Rogers. This very beautiful chess game was played in Nuoro in 1984. And where is Nuoro? Nuoro is a city in Sardinia, Italy. Let's have a look at the game. Mario Lanzani had white pieces and he started with d4. Ian Rogers played knight to f6, c4, and now e5. Budapest defense. D takes on e5, knight to g4, bishop to f4, defending the pawn, knight to c6, attacking the pawn again, knight to f3, bishop to b4, check, knight to c3, knight from b. To d2 is a good alternative move. We have a knight to c3. Bishop takes knight, doubling the pawns. Pawn takes bishop. Queen to e7, threatening to win the pawn on a5. Defending f6. e takes on f6. Knight takes on f6, attacking the queen. Queen to d1. d6. e3. Ian Rogers castle kingside. Bishop to e2, knight to e4, threatening knight takes pawn on c3, rook to c1, king to h8, and Mario Lanzani castled kingside 2. Black to move. How would you continue this position if you had black pieces? Perhaps developing light squared bishop comes to mind. Maybe bishop to d7. Or maybe bishop to g4 looks like a sensible move, doesn't it? This is not what Ian played. Ian played g5. Wow. Ian is not worried about his king safety, is he? Bishop to g3. And now h5. All or nothing. Bishop to d3. Knight to c5. h4. black to move. This is perhaps the most interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Perhaps knight takes bishop comes to mind, do you agree? Or maybe bishop to g4, pinning the knight. I think this would be my choice. But Ian Rogers played an amazing move. Kaboom. Did you guess this move? Pawn takes rook. If a queen takes on f3, then one line goes like this. Bishop to g4, queen to d5, bishop to e6, queen to f3, knight takes on d3, queen takes on h5, check. Queen to h7. This position why it was black. That is why Lanzini recaptured with pawn. G takes on h4. Bishop to h2. Bishop to h3. Attacking the rook. Saving the rook doesn't help. Lanzani played king to h1. If rook to e1, rook to g8. And after king to h1, queen to g5 is winning. Or black. So we have king to h1, rook to g8. Lanzani played a move and immediately resigned. And the view of this continuation. Rook takes rook. And now, how to recapture? With the queen or with the king? If queen takes on g1, then knight takes on d3. And after rook to c2, queen to f7 is winning for black. And what else? If king takes, then queen to g5 check. Bishop to g3. Pawn takes bishop. Bishop to f1. Pawn takes pawn check. King takes pawn. Queen to h4 check. This is just one possible continuation. King to e2. Knight to e4. Queen to e1. Knight to g3 check, king to d1, black is winning one more piece. What now? 
f4, then bishop to e2 check, king to c2, queen to h2, and we can stop here. What else can white do? In this position, if bishop takes, then a knight takes on d3, and after queen takes, queen to g5. How to stop checkmate? Maybe like this. Then bishop takes queen, and after rook takes bishop h3. And after what? Something? Queen to g2. Checkmate. That is why Mario Lanzani resigned in this position. And let's go back to this most interesting position of the game. This is the one. Rook takes on f3. Amazing. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunting. Bye for now.